Hi Aries, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for July. I hope everybody out there is doing well. I am gonna take a quick second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Aries out there, so take what resonates for you, leave the rest for someone else. Keep in mind that the energies can reverse or flip-flop. And as always, Aries, please do not try to force yourself into a reading that is simply not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Aries? Aries. All right. Oh, thank you. Aries, you are starting out with the Five of Swords in the reverse. You have the Four of Swords. And coming out together, we have the Empress along with Judgment. All right, so Aries, um, it looks like you've had some sort of a conflict with somebody, or you could possibly be trying to avoid conflict, and if you are, you're avoiding that person. But some of you have had conflict with somebody. You do want to resolve it. I do feel like you're kind of pulled back. It looks like there's a lack of communication. Um, you're kind of healing your energy here. But And I don't feel like you're going to be coming towards this person. It's more like you're in this Empress energy, which I do like for you. Um, I do feel like you've made a judgment call here to kind of pull back and to, to seat yourself in this Empress energy where you're in a receiving mode. Um, some of you could be pregnant. The Empress in this particular deck is pregnant. So some of you could be pregnant. Um, and if so, you, you're, you're kind of seated back you're waiting for things to come to you. You're in this essence of um, prosperity. I'm also seeing loyalty here. Um, there's a lot of loyalty, so you're very loyal. Um, I also see that um, with regard to, to, you know, the way you're approaching life, it's very, it's like you know your, your self-worth. It's, um, I don't see you feeling insecure or worrying about, you know, chasing after anyone. You're in a period of abundance here. So, I, I'm seeing loyalty, abundance, self-worth. And I do feel like some of you may want a reconciliation with somebody. Let me see who's in your energy. Show me who's in Aries' energy. All right, so the person in your energy has the High Priestess in reverse. We have the Eight of Cups and the Six of Swords. So they're kind of a little bit in this running energy. Um, this person that's in your energy, I feel like some, some kind of secret could have come out. Something was revealed. They no longer are trusting their intuition with regard to you. It may be because you walked away or this person may have walked away. Um, with this Eight of Cups. I do feel like they have this running energy toward, you know, with them. Uh, something could be occurring towards the fall. I'm seeing something about the fall time frame. And with the Six of Swords here, this person's wanting to move this connection to a more peaceful place. One of you walked away from the connection, though. And it could have been over some sort of secret that came out. The energy between the two of you is the King of Cups. Water sign energy that you could be dealing with a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. But what I am going to tell you is that this person has feelings for you and you have feelings for them. If there is, has been conflict, you are wanting to resolve those conflicts. Um, I feel like this person watches you. And both of you have feelings for each other, but there's a sense of isolation with those feelings. Let's see what's affecting the connection. The Page of Wands. Yeah, so for somebody out there, and I know this wouldn't be for very many of you, um, I am seeing the energy of a child. Um, possibly a male child, but it doesn't have to be. With the Page of Wands, though, that's a spark. That's a spark of a new beginning. That's uh, good news coming in, and that's what's affecting the connection. So that's positive. Let's see your outcome. Ace of Swords in the reverse. All right, so in your outcome, there's a lack of clarity between the two of you by the end of the week. Now, at the bottom of the deck, I see the Two of Cups. 
again, very positive energy. You could be dealing with a Gemini, but that's the, um, the underlying energy here is of getting on the same page, um, which I can see that you want to do. It's the energy of generosity. It's, um, it's of love. So I definitely feel that there's love here in this connection. Let me see. Um, let's clarify. Why is this five of swords in the reverse? I can see a break in the communication right now. Ah, the emperor and the fool. Yeah, you want a new beginning with this person. Um, you could be dealing with um, a divine masculine or you could be the divine masculine. But I can see you want to resolve any issues that is between the two of you. I feel like you do have, you know, deep emotional feelings for this person. And I can see that you want a new beginning. All right, two of swords, seven of wands reversed. You've made a decision to, to lower your guard. And I can definitely see you've made a decision not to fight with this person anymore. You don't want the arguments or the fights. Um, there could have been a decision that was made either because you were feeling powerless in the situation or, or if they made a decision, it made you feel powerless because I'm seeing some powerlessness here. All right, we have the two of pentacles reversed. We have the eight of wands and good deal, ten of cups. Okay, so a decision is being made and I'm seeing that it's going to bring about a sudden change. And this sudden change is going to bring in that prosperity. I do see, Aries, that you have balanced out your, your uh, masculine and feminine sides. Um, I do feel like if you approach this person and you, you talk to them or they approach you, I do see that you're going to be coming from a much more balanced perspective. And I see also that you feel that, you know, reconciling with this person would make you very happy. So, I mean, your, your energy looks really good. I do feel like some of you are dealing with a divine masculine or a divine feminine. Um, I feel like you are the divine feminine most likely and this person is likely the divine masculine. I'm also seeing that runner energy. So it's like that runner chaser energy. I, let me look and see their energy. Spirit, why is the high priestess in reverse? Why is the high priestess in reverse? This person does watch you. Yeah, they're still attached to you emotionally, and they do watch you. Why is the High Priestess in reverse? Oh. So there may have been a something that came out or something that was revealed about something toxic here. Um, and it caused a tower moment for this person. Yeah, it caused a tower moment. I am seeing some toxic energy. You could be dealing... I'm seeing strong Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. I'm also seeing Capricorn here. But there was some kind of information that came out that was really toxic. And it causes a tower moment between the two of you. I see there's a lack of communication. And now this person doesn't, they just don't trust their intuition with regard to this connection. That's likely why they're watching you. They may be watching to see if you've moved on from them or if you're still, you know, if you still care about them. Why well, is the Eight of Cups here? Because I don't feel like it was you that walked away. I feel like this person did. The Hermit. Five of Pentacles. And the Ten of Wands. So this person wants to resolve the problems between the two of you. I feel like they've been doing a lot of thinking during this time. They've been healing and they've been doing a lot of thinking, soul searching here. Um... Whoever walked away, the other person felt very rejected. They, I, And I feel like it was the person in this that's in your energy, Aries. I feel like they, they left you out in the cold. They walked away. There was some toxic energy associated with it as well. And now they, they've figured out that they want to resolve these problems. They want to, you know, work things out with you here. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Why is the Six of Swords here? What they've discovered as they were doing all this soul searching is that they want this new beginning with you. The Magician, the Two of Wands. Now, they could live at a distance for some of you. If so, this person is going to be traveling. 
um, they're making plans and they're manifesting on how to bring this connection into a better place. They caused a lot of chaos, it looks like, and now they want to, they're manifesting you back and they're also manifesting travel for some of you. They're making plans on how to bring this into a better place. Let's look at the energy between the two of you. Yeah, this definitely has a lot of the markings of a twin flame or a deep soulmate connection as well. All right, so we have the nine of coins reversed and we have the page of cups reversed. Yeah, so this, this brought up a lot of insecurities for you as well. There's a deep sense of loss that you've been experiencing since, since you uh, broke up with this person or they broke up with you. I can see that there's a, an extreme amount of loss, but you do still love this person and you do kind of put them on a pedestal. Um, I feel like you want a new beginning with them. Now, in their energy, they're holding back their feelings they may realize that they owe you an apology that they haven't been willing to give to you. They've been, so this person may be very much in their ego right now because I, I can see that they feel that they do owe you an apology. They have the feelings, but they're holding everything back. It's, um, let's see why the Page of Wands is here. Ace of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune reverse. There's a lot of stuck energy. That's what's making you feel powerless because everything has been stuck. Things have not been moving forward in a positive direction. So you you basically, when this person walked away, you basically made the decision to work on yourself, to heal your own energy. There's definitely been a silence between the two of you, but you're you're hoping for communication. I can see that. And it hasn't been forthcoming at this point. Now, the person in your energy, I can see where they've been very silent. They would like to have this new beginning with you, but they know they have to open up. It's almost like neither of you want to be the one to approach the other one. There's a standoff kind of that's going on. I do feel like um, there is going to be communication, though, and you're both going to be happy about it. Yeah, you're both going to be happy about it, but neither one wants to be the first to, you know, come forward with that communication. Why is the Ace of Swords in the reverse? I feel like you're dealing with somebody, Aries, that's very stubborn and definitely has a lot of ego. All right, so we have Justice in reverse. We have the Six of Wands. Ace of Swords in the reverse, and the Hangman. All right, so what I'm seeing here is that this is not going to balance out by the end of the week. Why? Well, because you don't, you're you still not talking. You want the sudden change. You want to talk to this person, but I, and, and it's not about love. You both love each other. There is going to be success, though. It's just I don't think it's going to happen by the end of the week because you're not speaking and they're waiting to speak as well. It's almost like uh, they know they owe you an apology for walking away, for leaving you out in the cold. But they don't want to come forward. They're in their ego. They don't want to come forward with that apology. So they're waiting for you to come forward is what it is. Now, the good news is, is that we have the Six of Wands here, which indicates that there is going to be success in this connection. It, you know, all of this non-talking, all of this um, lack of clarity is going to be cleared up. And justice is going to be served on both sides. So it's going to balance out, but not by the end of the week because you're not talking and they're they're waiting for you to talk first. So it's it's like a standoff is happening here. I do think that there is going to be a sudden change. It's going to make you happy. I feel like when it does occur, it's going to be very quick. So, but not by the end of the week. So, all right. Bottom of the deck is the Page of Swords. And that's a little bit of, um, you know, checking up on one another. You could be checking up on them to see what's going on with them. They definitely are checking up on you. And it's, you know trying to figure out, is there still a chance? Is the, is the other, has the other person moved on? 
and I don't feel like either of you have, but it's two very strong-willed people here. All right, let me um, pull some oracles and see if anything comes out. Spirit, I'm pulling for Aries. All right, so we have forgiveness, happy marriage. And I do feel like this is what you're you're striving for. You're you're wanting this happy connection, happy relationship. Um, and they have down low. I should have been truthful about my lifestyle. Whatever this is, is this is the information that came out. There's something toxic that's going on with this person that caused this entire tower moment, caused the conflict. Um, and it's going to require forgiveness to move past this. Forgiveness on both sides. But right now, it just looks like you, you're you both very strong-willed and you're both kind of standing your ground. Although I do feel like you've made the decision to kind of lower those defenses. I feel like you're more open than this person is. Um, they're still strongly in their ego. So, all right, I hope this has been helpful for you, Aries. If you've resonated with this reading, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. And until I see you in your next reading, namaste.